Hey guys, Stephen here, and welcome to my Redstone Logic World, the place where you can find all your Redstone Logic gates. It's a downloadable map like always, so just check it out in the description, and it'll help you learn Redstone Logic. Today, we're going to be looking at the NANDS gate, but before we do that, um, it's a good idea just to check out my ANDS gate and inverted tutorials, because they really do help with the understanding of the NANDS gate. So we'll just jump straight into it, um, but before we step into the room, there's something that I want to show you, so we'll just check that out first. Okay, so what I wanted to show you guys was highlight the difference between what an AND gate is and what a NAND gate is. As we can see here, the truth table to the left is the AND gates and to the right is the NAND gates. Um, the inputs are blue, the outputs are green. Now, we can see the input columns, they're exactly the same, but the output columns differ. So whenever the AND gate is off, the NAND gate is on and vice versa. Now the reason this is, is because a uh, NANDS gate consists of an AND gate and the output is inverted. So that's what makes it like that. Um, so I'll just show you what it is here. This is a, a NANDS gate, what it's taken in its literal form. We've got the AND gate found here and the output is inverted. Um, we can see on the AND gate's design though, this is a little inverter here and here's another inverter here. Um, if you remember back from my inverter tutorial, if you're inverting a signal twice, there's no point having it there. You can just run off the original signal. So, when we construct a NAND gate, we build it like so. We just have three blocks, put a redstone torch there, put red wire in between, this is the output here on the green, and these are the two inputs here. And I'll just test through them as we go with the truth table. So at the moment, they're both off, the output's on. Turn that on, it's still on. Turn this one on, it's still on and now if we put both inputs at a high the output should be at a low and we can see it like so um, so when you're thinking about okay I have to add something then invert it just think of it like this but then apply this design and that's the way you go about it and the same thing applies for when you're working with a NOR gate or an XNOR gate it's literally just you're ORing something then you're inverting it when you're using an XOR, you just XOR it and then you invert the output. Alright, so now that we've gone through the theory, we'll go through a way that we can practically apply the NAND gate in Minecraft. We're going to be using the fact that, looking at the truth table here, the NAND gate's at a low only when both inputs are at a high. So we're going to be making a simple hidden door with that. You can hide, these are the two inputs, you can hide these obviously, you can use levers, buttons, pressure plates, and especially with pressure plates, you can have a water stream that pushes something onto it, then off it, so you've got time just to run through the door. Um, but we're just keeping it simple for now. And basically, the door will only open if all the inputs are on, like so. And we can just walk through into our house like that. Um, a good way you can also use it, you can make it a two-player doorway, so both players will have to press the button at the exact same moment to get through as we can see there, and it'll quickly close on them. So you've got to be good with your timing, but this would be the second player. I'm just leaving it on for now. So we'll press it, and bolt through, and that's the way it works. Um, hopefully you found this NAND gate tutorial useful. If you've got any questions, just leave a comment, or send me a message, and I'll make sure to get back to you. really want to help you guys out. And yeah, that's everything done, and have a good one. Welcome to my redstone mini game called Russian Roulette. It plays just like the classical Russian Roulette. If you don't know what that is, basically it's a betting game where two players go head to head.